Converting your code to run in distributed computing can be very simple, especially if it's already in the canonical form where you are running the same function over and over again in a loop with different inputs each time, where each time you call that function it's completely independent. That's the situation we have here today with this function down sample that we're running. We're going to be going through the loop four times and each time we call it is completely independent. Now the code that you see here was written before we had distributed computing. Let's see how we would take that and convert it over to run in a distributed fashion. The first thing we're going to do is add a line of code here that says find a resource that is a scheduler where the configuration is the job manager configuration. That will find us a scheduler. Next we need to create a job. A job is an empty shell in which you put those independent tasks. In this case we also are going to send some information along that says we know the function down sample was written here locally and it needs to be sent over to the cluster so please send over downsample.m. We also know that there's a large data set that each of the workers in the cluster are going to need and so that is stored on the path of D colon discomp demos WWLCD. Now the loop itself we do not make any change to. However, inside the loop we're going to instead of calling down sample each time through the loop, we're going to do this where we say create task, attach it to the job, run this function down sample, expect one output, and here's the cell array of inputs. So it was a very mechanical translation of what was already there. Finally, we're going to add these four lines of code that are very similar no matter what kind of job you're doing. We're just going to say submit the job, wait for the state of the job to be finished. Once the job is finished, then get all the output arguments from that job and then destroy the job out of the queue. After that, the post-processing is not going to change. Notice that when we were doing this, it really does not matter what downsample.m is doing. Distributed computing doesn't really care so long as each time you run it, it's going to be completely independent of all the other times. Thank you, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email.